Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can get this cool HCC like weather widget with the, with the forecast and the uh, animation. Okay, so I put I'm going to put all the things you um, need in the description so I don't waste so much time. But you're going to need I file, you're going to need I blank, you're going to need um, HTC uh, or you're going to need per page and you're going to need HTC weather uh, animated per page. Okay, so you're going to go and you're going to open up your iFile. I'm just going to take off from there. You're going to open, or I mean, uh, iBlank. You're going to open up iBlank, and it's going to ask you how many blanks you want to make. And um, you're going to go and make 12 blanks, and you're going to place them. Uh, for me, I, I placed it on the first page. You're going to place them on whatever page you want. Uh, in the top three rows where the icons would be uh, one two three okay so when you've done that uh, you're only gonna be able to have uh, icons at the very last um, row and then your dock so um, this is gonna be blank and this is gonna be filled up with uh, your HTC uh, wh whether would you, you're gonna open up per page HTML which I'll put in the description and it's gonna say HTC any PPH gonna go ahead and click that and you're gonna put it wherever you want it but wherever you uh, put it you have to have the eye blanks there all 12 of the eye blanks there unless you want it being covered by apps and it kind of doesn't look that nice um, so for me I put it on page one with my eye blanks on page one yeah. then you're gonna go ahead and uh, it's gonna ask you to respring your device you're gonna go ahead and do that once you're done respringing your device and you open it back up you're going to uh, you're going to see that this, where it says, uh, where it has this location, it's going to say something like Calgary, which probably isn't where you're at. Um, now, in order to change that, and it's not going to have um, the cool uh, uh, weather animation, you're going to go ahead and you're going to open up your iFile. You're going to open up iFile. Um, okay. You're going to go into library, and then you're going to scroll down. Oh, you're going to, you can just hit the home button down here to get right where I am. You're going to be at mobile and then var over here. <clears throat> Don't mind the Apple icons. Um, you're going to go to applications. There's applications, documents, library. You're going to click on library. You're going to go in library, and you're going to see uh, address book at the top. You're going to scroll down until you see per page HTML right here. Now, you see analog clock, calendar, and HCC and EPP. HCC and EPP is the one you want to click on. Then it says bundles, private sources, style sheets, and configureme.js. You're going to click on configureme.js. It's going to bring up some of the code that was written in order to uh, get the world forecast. You're going to go up at the top. It says done and edit. You're going to click edit. Sorry for the noise. You're going to click edit. And then uh, about halfway down, it says, it says var, about halfway down, uh, it says var locale space equals space, and then your, that zip code, that isn't your zip code in, um, in quotation marks. You're going to go ahead and highlight, or not highlight, but you're going to go ahead and uh, use a magnifying glass to get inside um, the quotation marks. And then all you're going to delete is that number. You're only going to delete the zip code. Don't delete the quotation marks. Delete the zip code. And when you delete the zip code, uh, just put in your zip code and leave the quotation marks. And then you're just going to hit done. Now, if you want the weather animation, you're going to go all the way down to the very last line. And it says var show any show weather any equals. And it says false for you, I believe. You're going to go ahead and click right after where it says false. And you're gonna hit, um, you're gonna hit true. You're just gonna hit, delete the word false, leave the space after the um, equal sign, and put T R U E true. Um, now, in order to change how often it updates the weather, um, a few lines underneath var locale, um, where it says var locale, a few lines under that uh, it should be one, two, three. It should be four lines under that. 
it says var update interval equals and then some number forward slash forward slash minutes that means it's going to update in that many minutes so the number just click right in front of the number so you can edit what number it is you're going to delete that number and then you're going to put whatever number you want i put it to five so every five minutes it's going to update my weather you can put it 10 20 minutes whatever you want um and then you uh, after you edit all three of those things you're going to go up at the top where it says save it's going to say save right there and then it's going to turn into a button that says done then you're going to go back to your home page and in your home page you're going to uh, go ahead and respring your device you can uh, respring um, you're going to respring your device and this is going to load up and it's going to have the weather forecast animation and it's going to have your location that you put so I hope you enjoy this and if there's anything else you'd like to see um, about how I got any of these or anything uh, like that go ahead and uh, leave a description or leave a comment in the comment section and um, I'll go ahead and get back to you go ahead and uh, you can also go ahead and like this this video if it, if it helped you um, let me know give me some feedback in the comments um, and like I said if there's anything you want to see uh, just let me know in the comments. All right.